What's up, you guys? I'm Maxim Sutri here at CNJ's Collectibles, the 16 box tournament. Here with what's your name, bro? Uh, Emmanuel. Yeah, from what team? Uh, team Scyther. Team Scyther. What's up? Shout out to you guys. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Team Grimy for the Gustav match. Oh, Team Grimy. Did, uh, Once I, again. I, could, I wouldn't have got here without it. Without them? Uh, shout, shout out to Ho. That's what's up. So, uh, so top eight. What did you? What deck did you top eight with? Uh, Gishki. Did you deck? Did you? Did you deck people out? No, I did not. You did not deck people out. But wait, it's Gishki. Woo. Shout out to SDC. Everyone's in the building. You already know. Oh, so you ran real Gishki. Yes, real. Gishki. Yeah, the the better water deck. Yeah. He the better because, water deck. He top because I beat him. That's why. Wow. He lost to someone else. <laughs> You want to talk? Right. It's true. All right. It's true. Uh, anything you want to say about the deck? Or? Uh, no, we can talk. All right, let's get to it. All right. All right. So first off, we're on three Zeal Gigas, part of the deck. What does it do? Uh, it's a uh, pay a thousand. Uh, you, look, you draw a card, reveal it. If it, if it happens to be a Gishki, uh, you can put a card on the field back to the top of the deck. So he's broken. No. And uh, he's big. He's thirty. He's also a level ten. That's the best part. Level ten. You just imagine I smell what Gustav you can do Max. Yeah, I smell Gustav Max. Um, the only downside is he's zero defense, but I mean he's a huge beater, hard to get over, and yeah, he's that. He, he's a win condition of the deck. Oh. And then we got uh, triple vision and the searchers. Triple shadow. These are the searchers. This guy searches uh, ritual spells. This guy searches the big guy, and uh, they can both be used as the entire tribute for the Zyogi. Oh, nice, nice. So pretty much the heart of they, yeah. these guys are. And also they're salvage hearts. targets, right? Uh, also, yeah, yeah they're all does salvage targets. Does a lot targets. of combos, yeah. Um, then we got uh, Triple Gishki Abyss. Uh, he's the Stratos of the deck. His effect is when he's summoned, I add a uh, monster with a thousand attack or a uh, thousand defense or less uh, to Gishki and add it to hand. And so I can do Beast going to him, get him back, uh, shenanigans. He's, he's good. Uh, him and Duality is like uh, amazing. Uh, then we got uh, three Gishki Beast. Uh, the reason I play Trips is because I expected a lot of Evil Swarms, and he's an instant rank four, even if you're not playing against Evil Swarms. Forms. Amazing, go dweller against Mermels, and he's just he's just really good. And you get back, uh, like I said, you combo with the base, get back, get the search, really good. When I play double track. Uh, he's a level ten, so it really synergizes with the uh, with the Zeal Gigas. I can use him for the ritual, and I can summon him and go into Gustav with him. And uh, also, I hate getting OTK'd, so I play this to stop OTKs. Uh, and yeah, it's track. Uh, I played double tour guide. Um, I only played the double because I was scared of uh, evil swarm, so I'd go this ten tempo, uh, detach, and go half, go ham. Uh, though I think like twice today I dead draw into both of them, but other than that, I mean it was it did it didn't work one as easy side out though. So uh, then I played one Gishki advance. Uh, this guy's pretty good. Uh, his effect is once per turn, I can uh, choose a Gishki monster from my deck, put on top, so. You could combo with this guy, automatic. It's gonna be a guaranteed uh, put back on the top, uh, put back in the deck. And also, he's a Gishki Beast target, so I go Gishki Beast him, then go off. And then I play one Gishki Ariel. Um, and that's the one that's like you flip it. Uh, he's a flip, uh, she's a flip effect, and her effect is once you flip, add any Gishki monster. Oh, wow. So she has no limitations. Nice. She's 18, and if they don't run it over something 19 or higher, I'm, it's pretty much yeah. guaranteed to bring four next turn. So that's why I played her. She's, I usually side out though, because uh, there's a lot of fast decks. Yeah. So that's all the monsters. Okay. Okay. Uh, then the spells, we got triple salvage. Self-explanatory. Um, uh, <laughs> That's really good. It's too good. The only time it's bad is like turns one and through three, and then otherwise it's amazing. <laughs> Wins games. Uh, three mirror, another no Card's explanation. So yeah, uh, back to the deck. But the best part about it is a wall to engrave, and I have another one of these engraved. I can put this back in the deck and add it to hand. So it's like just a free Zogius back to hand. So And you do that as many times as you want per turn, so it's nutty. I didn't play double duality, uh, just because sometimes I want to store up my stuff until like I can get enough resources to go OTK, Makes and sense. also goes combos really well with Abyss. Uh, then I play the trio, heavy, monster born, dark hole. Trinity. Uh, self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. No, no need. And then I got the traps. There's nine. I played uh, triple trap stun. Oh wow. Uh, I pretty. Uh, I pretty. Shout out to Malvin. He gave me that idea. And also, I uh, I kind of stole this from Patrick Hoven too. I saw. His, I saw his infernities with the two trap like, stuns. His logic with the MSTs made a lot of sense to me. So I, I decided to play. And they did. They did put in a lot of work today. But not as much as my other traps. So I'll show you guys those. Uh, triple T roar. Yeah. 
like, no, oh my this, god. I mean, Stop it puts in so much work. I mean, I can chain it to anything. The only, I didn't get night beamed all day, so I was good. Nice. And I, I just love chainable stuff. And the last card is Triple Compulse. Uh, I love cha- back, like I said, okay. I love chainable. It's a out to lad in the G Drags matchup, even though it's only temporary. And it, it put in a lot. Those two put in way more work, like put the most work in the deck. Awesome. So how big is the deck? Uh, 41. 41. All right. All right. So then we got the side, extra, side, extra side you choose. Extra, we got one gachi just right. in case I get out to Abyss. Uh, pretty much the... Basic threes. Uh, yes, threes. I would have Captain Planet, but I don't got the room for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we got the Zemain, Sentempo, Leviathan, just because it beat her. That's pretty much it for the little rank threes. Then we got rank fours, double maestro. Good. Out to Ophion. Good to go Fire into. Fist, broke. It's just it's just too good. Like you you can't not you like you can't not run two of these in the deck in my opinion. With the beast too, you go into it way too much. One dweller, like I said, beast, Vermel, uh, maybe frogs, I didn't play any frogs either, yeah. so yeah. it's good though. Uh, one cowboy, I didn't go into this at all today. Really? Oh, no stolen games. Uh, you, have a, you have a bigger cowboy. Yeah, I have the big cowboy. You, the big cowboy. you got the so, gun. Yeah, I mean, but he's still. I play him just in case. Right, I gotta right. get over something. Right. Uh, one stone is giant. I didn't go into him either. I was playing for the option. It's really, it's really just an option. Maybe I have like four zeal, ga- three zeal gates, and like a another water. That's like eight hundred reduce. It happens. Uh, then Pappy actually went in this Woo! today, but it was it was Valor, sadly. To my just to, to my dismay, but I still ended up gaming the guy next turn. Okay. But, uh, Pappy wins games. Time, that was the only time I went into. But if he still wins games. Oh, yeah. Alright, bro. Uh, one See Utopia. Like I will. Uh, I never yes. went into this either, and I have the one Utopia. I never went into that either. Uh, I really, I really went into these. The, the rank four I went in the most was Maestro. That was MVP. Yeah. Uh, then we got Zen Maester. I went into this today. Uh, I actually round one. I u- I used this two times on my Zilgius, and I actually wow. paid all my life points away. I was playing the Dolce, so I was like, that's crazy. And I use that, and also I can use it on like my Vance, my Abyss, and then flip it and get its effect again. Makes sense. And then lastly, MVP. The two goose on Max. Stop Max. Shot and him like five. Team Grimey, so you gotta so give him a shout, shout out again. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I won about five to six games today with this. They're so cool. And some other games I didn't win with it, but I won because I used yeah. the burn. I mean, the burn. Next to 2000, it's too good. Yeah. I mean, I go into it, and sometimes I even know double goose on a turn. I didn't do that today, but I did go goose on an like three zero gigas wow. one turn. So nice. it, was, it, was, it was crazy. All right, side deck real quick. Side real quick. Uh, we got triple C. Uh, I hate E Dragons. Uh, I only played one today, and it was in top eight, but and I lost. But I, I did draw into this, yeah. so it was whatever. But it's still good though. Good against it, water. Yeah, good it's still good against a lot of stuff. So yeah. I, I see no problem with siding it. And then I saw the other hand trap, Baylor. Yep. Uh, pretty much, I think Baylor and Maxi were the most sided cards today. I think I sided the most. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I mean it's self-explanatory. They're amazing. Uh, triple MSC. I actually decided this at all today. Really? I had no matchups where I really need the MSC. Trap I mean, trap covered most. The, Pat knows whatever what's up. they cited, yeah. anyways. So I didn't really even need to go to MST. Uh, double Mind Crush. I cited it in, I think, two, three times today. I mean, it's good. It, it, it pretty much is good against every deck, but some decks I feel like I don't need the Mind Crush. And if anything, it's just like a free look at their hand. Yeah. Uh, then I got the two Nordic Relics. Too good. Uh, me. Shout out to Dude, Ian. That shit was Team MVP awesome. for giving me this idea. Uh, it's pretty much, I mean, all it, all I really played it for was yeah. it's out to Ophion and it gets around uh, 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 yeah, Pandemic, yeah. Wisdom, <laughs> Lance, <laughs> Dress. But None of that anyways, can be changed. And also, like, oh, Ophion and yeah. I didn't get to do that because uh, Gabriel's too smart for that. Um, <laughs> Mr. STC. And he used to attack with the normal. Yeah, Mr. Uh, STC. But, yeah, okay. I almost sided in once today. Yeah. Oh, actually, I sided twice, twice. Two evil. Sword matchups. Heavy slump. I'm sad I didn't get to use this. Aww. Really sad. Um, I sided against E Dragons because they're the only I, the only other deck I sided this in against is spell books. But uh, basically, it's if you don't know, it's while your opponent has eight or more cards in hand, you activate it, and they shuffle their hand into their deck, and then they draw two. So it's like a minus five plus. Um, but yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't draw it against E Dragon player, and I didn't, get it, I didn't get a chance to use it all. But I did side it against him. And the last one card was Mind Drain, and I didn't it at all. I just, it's pretty much just a one I went through in. Um, and yeah. Well, good job, man. Congrats. Real yeah, Gishki. Uh, Real Gishki. Yeah, Real Gishki. Congrats. Congrats. All right, man. All right. Thumbs it up. Thank you for watching.